Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. My name is Gina, and I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Somebody had asked me how I craft, and I told them, look, I will show you how to do some mixed media on a dime. It's extremely good on your wallet when you do some of these steps that I've done. And I do. I've done it for 20 years now, plus. And sometimes when I have a little bit extra money, I'll go out and I'll get, you know, like the 3D gloss gels. Or I'll go and get the big gessos. But sometimes, most of the time, I will use this underneath my, my mixed, me mixed media layers. <laughs> Say that ten times. <laughs> so this is actually a tutorial when I'm going to show her. It's also some of my helpful tips. So hopefully you guys like it. These, What these are, are bottles. They're little tiny bottles like this. Maybe two ounces. And I get them on either eBay or Amazon. And they spray really good. You just put a little bit of water in there. And I like to mix it with some of my paints, my acrylic paints. But what a lot of people don't know is that if you get these Faber-Castells, you can actually cut them up. Oh, I use that one, <laughs> apparently. You can cut off about that much and make a spray out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put that in there. Cut it right off. And just put it right inside the spray bottle. I'm going to get some water. Oh wait, I have some water right here. I always put a little bit in there at a time. And then I'll put more water if needed. And then you mix, just like I'm putting this on the wrong one. You mix it <laughs> very well. Okay, I'm also going to show you how to do gesso, how to make your own gesso. And you can make any color in the rainbow gesso. A lot of people think it just comes in white or it comes in black. But that's not the case if you make it your own. Um, what I have in here is glue three ounces of water and then I'm going to put in baking soda. You can use, let's see it's starting to show, isn't that pretty? Baking soda, some people use baby powder, some people use plaster of Paris, that's all right too. Um, I just like to use baking soda, uh, it's cheap, it's right there. I have it for cooking, <laughs> you know, it's, I don't have to go anywhere for it. Okay, all you got to do, when you pour this in there, you have to mix it really well. Okay, it's a fourth of a cup. I'm going to pour it over this. Oh, I knew I was going to spill it everywhere. <laughs> See, I told you I get really messy. And if you feel like my recipe is not enough, put some more baking soda in there. If you put enough in there, you'll make your own tex texture paste. But today we're making gesso. And mix it really well. Whee! <laughs> oh, I told you I'd get messy. Okay, so far, it's not mixed up all the way yet. Okay, then... Um, you add your own color to it. A lot of people like using white, but today I'm going to use, I'm going to be bold and use phyllo green. <laughs> if I can open it. Okay, I'm supposed to be measuring this. <laughs> Three ounces to, the, to the, this recipe. I always just throw it in there. And if it looks like it's enough, it's enough for me. That's how I cook, too. <laughs> so, four ounces of glue, three ounces of water, 
three ounces of paint, four ounces of um, baking soda, and like I said before, if you find it's too thin, add more in there. Doesn't that look pretty? It's not d yet done. What gesso is, is I always recommend when you're using a canvas, sometimes it comes pre-gessoed. And what it does, it gives you a little bit of tooth so your paint could stick to it. And this is, yeah, this is pre-gessoed, but I personally don't really trust the way they gesso, I guess. And I just, all I do is gesso my um, canvases and then go from there. I will say, I don't know, honestly don't know if this is archival quality, but um, it's not bad for you or anything like that. It doesn't have any fumes or anything like that. And all you got to do is mix it up. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit more baking soda in there. Looks a little bit too thin. better. I think I'm using, I'm doing texture paste now. <laughs> okay. Beautiful color. Let me put this down. And also, when I paint, when I put my, um, texture paints or 3D gloss gels, I will use different things like paper towels, hot glue, and you don't really necessarily have to go out and buy the big expensive bead landings or Tim Holtz. You can get them right in the hardware store. I even use old glass glasses, safety pins cogs, all kinds of stuff. Just for a little bit of texture. Okay? And let's start painting with this great stuff that I just made. If I can find a paintbrush. <laughs> a little bit of water to water it down but I like it I like it this thick you don't need that much with the gesso you just need enough to give you guys some tooth The paint that I use, I bought it for a dollar. Everybody knows how expensive baking soda is. I mean, that's $20 a bottle. <laughs> you could also, uh, what I use is regular old glue. You can use school glue. You can use Elmer's glue. Any kind of glue that you have. And that's it. That's my base to my mixed media piece. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to wait till this dries so I can come back and do what I'm going to do on top. Okay, thanks. Bye.